everyone and welcome to my channel i hope you're all well i've been asked to show my journals um i mention them quite often um because um well basically they are forever attached to me um the youngsters today have attached their phones and i'm attached to my uh, organizing uh, it is just um so useful for me because i am a complete scatterbrain plus i really enjoy it so that's fine um, it's become like another hobby, so another string to my bow. And also, um, with the journaling part of all these things, I find that really good for expressing myself and for gratitude pages and, and all sorts of things. And it's expanding and I'm learning all the time. Um, I started playing about with um, a bullet journal first. I think that was before Christmas. It's not, I haven't been uh, into this hobby for very long or this interest for very long. And then um, I got a bullet journal and um, I think I ruined about three <laughs> notebooks trying to set one up. And I used it and I loved it and I thought it was great. And then one day I came across Traveller's Notebooks. So um, let me show you. I'm going to just tell you um, the things about these books, like as far as I've learned so far. Um, I do have um, this way of like I skip what I'm not interested in in any hobby or anything I'm doing and only concentrate on what I'm interested in so sometimes I might not use the right terms and things like that but that's just me I don't really get into all that kind of stuff very often I tend to pick up a few things but um, I'm really like I tend to skim over that those things so um, if you are really into journals and everything my apologies if i use the wrong words um i am pretty much a newbie what maybe eight months seven or eight months i've been into it so um i'm still learning all the time <laughs> so the first type that i had now this is a new one that i'm working on because the first one i had went from um december january and it ran out for june and it sort of had two pages in there something like that and i thought i'll just start afresh for june and it's nice, a fresh start is always nice, isn't it? I was slightly concerned that um, it split my year up and that I didn't like very much. And then I thought, well, it's fine, long as I store them together um, and I build up my books, it'll actually look quite nice on a shelf and you can just go to them later. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it pans out. So this is the one I'm working on at the moment and it is actually, if I lean across, this book here, because I've got some goodies to show you as well. It is actually this book from um, Amazon. Um, I don't know what the make is. It just says Earning Power. And I, I'm assuming that uh, that is the make. And it's an A5 hardcover dotted notebook. And it's a, a A5 size, which is 8.5 inches by 5.7 inches. It's got lovely uh, thick paper, 140 GSM. 200 pages. A little uh, bookmark in the back. And... Um, a little pocket in the back two bookmarks and it's supposedly no bleed paper but i did have an issue this morning and you do still have to be careful with certain things that you use like i decided to sorry about the noise actually i know some people like it uh, i'll open this one because i'll show you what i'm using in this one so this one um i like the other one so much like the paper i decided to get another one and i'm going to use it as my journal instead of um, just using my traveller's notebook which I'll show you in a moment but um, this uh, this is my bullet journal got my months marked out because that just helps me keep track of everything and uh, it's easier to find the pages and then I'm going to turn this one into a, a journal I think at the moment uh, it might end up as something different or it, I might even carry on from there but what I'm thinking is uh, when you see the Traveller's Notebook in a minute, you'll see what my thought is. And that is, um, I actually love the Traveller's Notebook. I like that better than, any, than than the bullet journal. But when you do journaling in the little inserts that you get, it's only small pages. And my thought was about storage, because um, I've only just started um, journaling in the Traveller's Notebook. Before that, it was lists and... Um, uh, medical things and just general like a planner diary type thing to keep me on track and now I've started to relax with it and I've been watching um, Helen Colebrook 
and she does um, lovely journaling in um, her Travis notebook and I was really inspired by her and I started journaling uh, in there as well and then I thought to myself wow I'm nearly at the end of my insert already how am I going to store these and then be able to reflect back on them later on and then I wondered if maybe I should get a notebook and use that so we go this is what it is um you've got the band that goes around to you know keep it closed you've got a pocket on the back you don't get any stencils or anything like that with this one and then you've got this lovely paper let's check what you can see it's absolutely gorgeous paper with um the little dots all over i don't know whether you'll see that on camera but there's little tiny dots all over the page that helps you follow lines but i still can't follow lines I tried to do some freehand boxes, I'll show you in a minute, and <laughs> they're rubbish, but um, it doesn't matter. You can write in the front, whatever you like, or cover that up with something, and then you just get into it. You just get a plain book like that, and then you just start off, and I use um, these Tombow brush pens for um, anything I want to colour. they got the brush at one end and a fine line at the other end. And they are really lovely. And I get them off Amazon. I just buy one every now and again when I want a colour. I just think, oh, I want a blue. I'll get a blue. And then I use these pens because I am terrible at making mistakes. Uh, and then changing my mind. And, and things change, don't they? And you want to change your writing. If you go, I've written it all down now. And um, I've got no space. Or I want to change something. Because uh, life changes. You know, your plans have to change sometimes. So I've got these... Um, Frixion is how I'm saying it, but I don't know, pens from Amazon. And you can, um, there's refills for them. You can buy refills, there's just one left in there now. And the beauty of these is, they're a medium sort of nib, I think it's 0.5. And on the end, there is a rubber. So it is actually an erasable pen. So when you make mistakes, or you want to change something, you, you know, you can just do it. Uh, and I find that really good. And sometimes I'll use a, a normal fine liner, um, you know, but mostly I use those because um, then if I want to rub something out and change it, I've got that freedom to do it. So this is the one I'm working on at the moment. Let's put that over there. And this is, remember, a plain book like that. Now, I haven't done anything major. I, I, I enjoy crafts and I enjoy... Um, lots of hobbies that way but I am no artist I have trouble with stick men right so let's have a look inside um, I remember to try and keep it in frame because I can't see <laughs> if I move it too far down that's going to have to be my marker do not move it further than there so um, inside you have um, the bookmaker uh, and then I've written my name and June till whenever it finishes I really almost wrote June till July. I nearly filled it in and then I realised what I was doing. And then the year. And then this is the first page. Originally I was going to do, um, I tried to draw like leaves all over it that I'd seen on another person's page. I thought, oh, I can do that. No, it was online actually for suggestions for bullet journal pages. Easy bullet journal pages because I cannot draw to save my life. And I saw this one with leaves and I thought, oh, I can do that. Did them all over, coloured them in with um, the Tombow pens and they looked ridiculous. So I stuck another page on the top and covered it up. Then I was going to have June as blue. See, this is my problem, isn't it? And so I stuck the little girl on there that I'd already stamped and coloured and cut out. Um, I stamp, uh, stamped these um, little characters and then I colour them in with Windsor and Newton um, artist marker pens. And I these are die cut letters. So I was all set up for blue. And then I thought to myself, I really don't want blue in June. I want blue for July. When it's more like summer holiday time, beaches, um, you know, all that kind of feeling. And um, so I changed my mind. So then I changed it to purple and lilac. So... Um, I'd already covered it up and then I started to mess it up again. I knew he, I wanted to give in, but I thought, no, don't give in. Just carry on. It's fine. You'll laugh about it later. And the reason I had so much trouble was the glue had gone glue because I hadn't done any crafts for ages. And I thought, well, I'll just manage to stick this down. And then it was fighting with me and stick, and it just was having, I was having awful trouble. And then underneath I've written in uh, the blue 
um, Phryxian pen, Alice Valet Caprice, which means she flies with her own wings. And then over this side, I got this idea from somebody else on YouTube. I'm sure it was um, Helen Colebrook. And that is to keep special memories in a little envelope. And you can put things in, like if you went for a meal, you could put a card in there, you know, anything like that. But I've already um, cut out some little cards that I could start using. And just starting to um, little write things on there. Um, oh, oh yeah, I'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> when we do my uh, thing. That should be here probably tomorrow. And then I can write things in there and put things in there. I made the envelope with my um, envelope punch board. Just glued it down so it's nice and secure. <coughs> and I know the obvious seems to put the memories at the end of the month. But what I thought, thought was... Um, I can just go to the first page, the cover page, if I want to look at the memories for a month, and they're all there. And just everything's just popped in there. And then I've got my mood tracker. That's just these are just stickers. Um, these are little washi stickers. They will actually peel off. So if you get like I cannot take those flowers anymore, you can very carefully pull them off. And this is just done with a stencil. I just did the circles and the hearts to count the days. And basically, um, lilac on purpose so when I'm fine that's for like really happy days that's for when I don't feel well and that's when it's sad um, I don't really get temper days and, and you know and angry days but that's just for sad so I've been struggling a bit with my health the last week or so and it's been a bit up and down but um, so that's why I've not been filming um, goals I started to write some down um, nothing really major at the moment, that are just little things to get started. Playlists, so this is like my music, um, what I'm watching, either streaming, online, um, you know, TV. And then what I'm watching for YouTube videos, I've been watching Helen Colebrook and Sylvia with a plan. Social media over here. This has only just started this page and I haven't done a lot on social media the last week or so. So I've just filled in the um like when i had happy mail from pauline uh, try and remember to post photos on instagram and i know there's messages waiting for me still that i just haven't been able to get to check facebook because i check it out like once a week or so and then this week's theme thursday and i was thinking of doing a changing video today and i did this instead so i'll probably do a changing video tomorrow um just check you can see everything i, I hope you can then online shopping things i've bought it looks an awful lot but everything is separate like if it's one pen i've written it down so everything is is separate so it looks a lot home and us which is um just things i think i might like to get or things i would like to do around the house or or we need around the house like we need some more bath towels you know um i'm thinking of touching up the paint in the bathroom just little things really this is my gratitude page i thought i'd have a gratitude page this side and then one line a day this side and in future, I'm not going to do that. In fact, when I carry on with this, I'm just going to carry on with gratitude down there because I cannot stick to one line because it's writing for me is the same as talking. It's just, it does not work for me. Um, so I just write to, write to write a few things down. And this is the first month of doing it. Um, so maybe afterwards it would work, but I'm going to leave them out of the next month because I'm going to put them, my plan is to put them in a journal. And then there's my um, calendar for the month. And it is literally just draw the squares. And then um, just write the days and the dates all down. And then you can write anything you want on there then. So I'm hoping like sunshine because it's June. And uh, let your sparkle shine. I thought that was nice, a uh, little quote for June. Because just hoping for sunshine always. <laughs> always hoping for sunshine and happy things. And then got some pretty washi tape along the bottom in pink. And then this is the days of the week then. And each week goes on the same until the end of the month. So you've got the month up there. And then you've got like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then a place for notes or for forward planning things you need to remember for next week. Um, that kind of thing. Sometimes I just write little things. I can remember to take the RAC card when we went out to my hospital appointment because last time I went, the car broke down. And then I, I put the meals at the bottom to keep an eye on what we're eating in case I want to improve it next week. And there's some of those leaves that I tried to draw. 
um, I will be doing that again and then um, it just goes like that all the way through this is this week's um, see that Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then it's just you know like I did write notes there on that one um, it's just really, really handy. The boxes look small, but you're surprised. You, you can get quite a lot of things in each box. It's usually more than enough, even for me. And then the month just goes on like that, you know, like my granddaughter's birthday. Um, remember, it's Father's Day coming up. And then June just goes on like that. Then at the end of the month, um, I put review of the month there for this month. And I started to jot a few things down that I want to remember about the month. But I'm actually going to leave that off the next few months because um, um, I just, um, usually I'm ready to move on. I don't need to review it. So this is my start of July. I haven't done anything yet. My envelope will go there for my special memories. And my um, quote for this month is Amor Vincent Omnia, Love Conquers All. And then I will do my cover page, as they call it there. And I did, I have got the marks out. Mood Tracker will go there. July's goals and plans, so I've changed it slightly already. And I've got two birthdays coming up this month for grandchildren. Playlists, social media. These are just ready to decorate now. Online shopping, home and us. Uh, gratitude. I have already written one line a day, but I'm going to actually rub that out because it's, this is where the pens are handy. And then this is going to be my calendar page. I've got to draw that in. I did start doing the boxes. First of all, I decided that um, instead of using a ruler, I'd find something square to draw around because I thought it might be neater and easier. So I did that and then I put the days in and I stamped a flip flop, a stamp and put a sticker. And I've actually got some lovely washi tape I might put along there and decorate it some more. And then I decided that I just freehand them this morning and I should have left it alone. <laughs> so you've got the stickers and then this is where I found out that the paper does bleed I decided that I'd stick this um, stamp across there and first of all it, it blurred and I was not happy about that but I thought never mind it's only one page but it, uh, you can see it through the other side so I won't be doing that again I mean sometimes you can see a little bit of shadow when you lift a page but it's nothing major and then the weirdest thing happened I was quite happily putting down the days of the week and I went to put Sunday in and I couldn't find the stamp. Now I'd just been sat at my desk and I had been putting my stamps out in order of days and using them one by one and putting them back. And then all of a sudden it disappeared. So then I was looking through all my stickers, anything I'd had on the desk, all around the floor, or, you know, patting my legs down in case it had gone up, dropped on my lap. Um, I still can't find it. So I just um, used another um, set of little stamps just to put it in for now because in case it takes me ages to find and then I did that one wrong and I knew it was time to give in then but then the Amazon man came and saved me so I'm not happy with my boxes but I'll finish off July um, like that and then when I move to August and start all over again uh, I'll find a better way of doing it <laughs> even if it's just going back to pencil and rubber again and, and just doing that so today I was hoping that my real genuine authentic i'm so excited about this traveler's notebook arrives when i got this one in january this is just a cheap one off um amazon because i didn't know whether i'd like it or not i didn't want to spend that but i thought oh, i'll treat myself to one of them and it's, it's a nice one um i you can see it's well used now in a traveler's notebook you have um i don't know how to show you. i'll take one out you have some elastics in the back and then what you do is you get your inserts I decorated these and then you put the inserts through the elastic so this is medical so it's got everything medical in there so I won't show you but it's all uh, mine and hubby's appointments records of his oxygen levels each day we do a.m. and p.m. Uh, and just anything really because when you need to look back on it for anything it's all there, you know, appointments, and sometimes I jot down things I want to ask the nurse, uh, things like that. And it's quite, you know, it's quite a few pages, it'll go for a while yet. Um, this is an insert, um, there's actually two in there, which is why you can see another one there. Um, this is another elastic, which is in the middle. There was a book in there actually, I've just realised what I've done, so I could put that somewhere, I'll move that around in a minute. 
and then there's another one there so I've got to some photos to my grandchildren cards I want to keep handy um, this is another insert and I printed off this paper I got this um, digital download from a shop on Etsy but I can't remember the lady's name offhand she does have a YouTube channel as well and then there's another this is my journal this is what I mean about my journal I started off um, like getting used to my writing was too big and that kind of thing and then I started to make I'm trying to make it smaller I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking it's still too big but I do enjoy it and I write a lot but and I can easily write two or three pages a day sometimes but then I've only got these pages left then so um, I'm thinking a notebook might be better really uh, maybe I could still do odd days in a journal in my in an insert to keep in here just for you know maybe special days or something might be an idea then there's um, oh that was my Yorkie the um, Jasper he's not with us anymore bless him my granddaughter when she's great granddaughter when she's first born my grandson Michael and he wrote me a little letter when he was small so I keep that there and then there's um, Tegan Evie and Michael again and then there's another notebook here another insert now if you want to add more inserts then what you've got elastics for it's quite simple this is an orange one you can buy these bands this is um but you can get them i've got brown ones black ones all different colors i just grabbed this one when i put it in there and you get i think it's three in this one i don't know how many i'll get in my real traveler's notebook my genuine original one <laughs> that i treated myself to that is finally dispatched today I ordered it Saturday and it's fine dispatch today so I'm hoping I'll get it tomorrow and I'll show you then because I just cannot wait. Um, so you have your elastic in the back and you would go to your middle of your book. This is my um, <coughs> everyday jotting down. So we've got up until November and then December to May. Uh, I don't really need that one yet but sometimes appointments <coughs> and things start going over. Excuse me. <coughs> and you need to uh, add things for the future so say we've got august so you've got monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday jot down things for each day on this side i always tick off when hubby's had his meds one square for a.m one square for p.m and then notes of things through the week then uh, and every week is like that and then look that's how busy it can get even just you know and at the front this one's got birthdays and different things but um some weeks will be really quite busy and then other weeks are really quiet oh tickly throat now, if you want to add more books and you've got elastics <coughs> there's this really neat trick and you just put the elastic let's make sure you can see put the elastic in the center of the book then do the same in the other book take your elastic and put it in the center of that book then you have a whole hoard of books in there then like i do <laughs> and then you pick up your elastic and you put it in the middle and you just put it through and i've got two now and one elastic and then these are just covers that you can buy either um proper ones or copies and they're just handy i move them around all the time i've taken a book out of there and I not filled it back in, but I can put that one in there. It's, it's not a problem. This pocket is a proper traveller's notebook pocket. You can buy them from um, the journal shop and you can stick them in. This is a board, a little board. Um, and it's great, this is. It's like a little writing board. It's got lovely stickers, uh, you know, designs on that side. And say you want to write on there, you can put that underneath and it holds it flat for you to write on so it's really handy when i need to use it I mean, a lot of the time i'm just jotting stuff down this key's coming unstuck from here but um <coughs> i don't know why it did stick for ages and ages and then it keeps coming unstuck so i'll probably not bother with them, one of those again um so that's my travis no but so i absolutely love this because i can write little notes all day every day things i want to remember just little things big things whatever it is and then my journal and then medical and sometimes I have another one in here and I just write lists and notes in there um, if you have trouble keeping organized or if you just like this kind of thing absolutely wonderful I'm just going to swap sides on my tripod trying to stand on a dog who's right down there 
Now, uh, because I've got my new um, Traveller's Notebook coming soon, hopefully tomorrow, <laughs> I decided to treat myself to some goodies, which had literally just arrived. I was literally working on July and starting to get everything wrong and thinking, I'm going to pack this in for the day, when the buzzer rang and um, these goodies arrived from Amazon. So everything you've, this here you can find on Amazon. And uh, I haven't opened it yet. I did hope that maybe my Travers notebook would be here today. And then I, because that's what I tried to plan for. Because I thought I paid for it on Saturday. They're bound to send it out on Monday. I'll probably have it Tuesday. Um, and then I can do like opening it up and have all lots of goodies. Like my birthday or something. But I cannot resist opening these because I just need to. <laughs> so I'll do the goodies today and then we'll do the traveller's notebook tomorrow. So if I can open the packing. Oh my, oh no. These are actually dried flowers. Um, which I think is absolutely lovely. Um, they're real dried flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? They are in um, vacuum packed packages. Which is these are lovely. I love yellow. Look at that. Um, so you've got four sheets. I think they're about seven pound. But you can go on and on with these. They'll last for months because you won't need an awful lot at a time. Um, so they are lovely. And then I'm really intrigued by the, these little vintage stickers in a little box. <laughs> I love this little box. How am I going to open it without? I, oh, on the side. I'm really careful of my nails at the moment because last time I, or the time before more, but last time I broke three and managed to cover up two by filing it down a little bit. And then the time before that, I managed to wreck a whole load of them. <laughs> so, um, these stickers are lovely, look. A little bird of the book. Post, like a postman sack, isn't it? and it's pretty oh look at that one that's lovely and then you've got a lamp oh it's a nice timer isn't it timer clock more clock a little flowers typewriter it's just all sorts of vintage things they're absolutely lovely i look at that that's really lovely that is i was thinking the other day i could do with a feather stamp for something or other Candles, letters. Oh, love the teacup. I love teacups. Oops, there you go. Absolutely lovely. So I'll just pop them down for now. I can put them all away in a minute uh, when I finish filming. And then this was for my July pages um, because there's some beachy scenes and beachy type things there. You've got the swimmer, and um, I think I can open this because it's just. Oh, I'll get my little scissors. Two seconds. Mm. It would have been so much easier to film at my desk, but the light is absolutely awful in there today. Uh, I've got my lamp on, it's okay for me, because I've got like a daylight bulb. Um, and I can get enough light to see what I need to see, but it's really rubbish if you want to do anything else like filming. So, just cut the sound tape. And it should slide down, I think. Oh, there's more, there's more, there's more. I didn't realise this was going to go on for so long. There we go. And then if I tip them out to show you, like I say, I can always put these away later. Um, this is the ones that really caught my eye was um, the swimmers. Because I thought that'd be really lovely for like a, a summer holiday feel. And then this is like the waves. Yeah, focus. So that's really nice. Um, this one has got like uh, a whale and I'm sure when I open it up properly there'll be other things on there like fishy things which is really lovely and intriguing to find out and then I've got um, blue it's got like a touch of pink no like you sort of bits in there um, and this one is lovely you can hang on I've lost my camera <laughs> Where am I? There I am. It looks like Misty Mountains, doesn't it? Or else you could have it like for the sea. But it's really pretty. And then this big one has uh, is more floral. 
um, so that's okay. But there's a couple of um, little narrow ones too, which are always handy, especially like in the traveller's notebook for the, those pages. Um, so that was lovely. So that's those. So I'll just stack them in there. And then I was watching another lady um, on a channel and watching one of her old videos. And I'm sure her name is Sylvia with a plan. Um, oh, dropped those. And she had um, these stickers and she said she got them from Amazon. But she had the, the dark um, version of them, you know, dark pictures. And I thought to myself, oh, they're really cool. I wonder if um, they do a lighter version, uh, you know, like not like more gothic and dark. So, and they do. And I've got loads here. There's three packets. So on the back, they're, they're just stickers and you've got all these different pictures. Each one's got all different pictures. So you can you can put them wherever you want. You can decorate a book. Sorry if it seems to like come in towards you. It's, it's the angle I'm looking in from. Um, you know, you can add them to anything. Look, it's really lovely. And then there's these ones. There you are. They're lovely and soft, aren't they? Really nice. So they can be used for absolutely anything. And then this, I, I love this. I wanted some vintage ephemera. And look how this is packaged. Isn't that gorgeous? gorgeous? And it's vintage... Oh, listen to me. Vintage material pack. Um, it comes from China originally. From the very first Simno. I don't know. Um... <laughs> I'm looking to try my name, but it, it comes from China, like most things do these days, and it's sold on Amazon. But um, when you consider that the um, Travers Notebook originates in Japan, I think, by my what I've been reading recently, um, it all fits, doesn't it? It's all an oriental thing. Organised minds. So, uh, oh, it's at the bottom. I was thinking there's not a flap, and I tried to cut it off, but there is. So I love this. I was thinking this is lovely. You could give this as a gift to somebody and that they'd probably really enjoy it. And then you can keep the string and you can keep this because you can use part of this probably. Um, if I don't wreck it. Oh, it's like a, it's stuck. I'll have to wreck it. There we go. But I can still use it if I wanted to. And, oh, that's like, um, you could actually slide something in there. You know, like a little card or something. There's a few of those. <laughs> Gentleman cat. <laughs> um, there's another one of those little, like, holder things. And then there's, um, oh, there's loads of stuff. There's tickets. And that's folded over. So there's tickets. Look at this. Admit one child. I can actually remember when they had bus tickets like this. <laughs> and you had the... Um, lady on the bus or the conductor would come along and um, give you a ticket i'm that old <laughs> yeah. at nine o'clock you could write something on there i would probably put down a page and then just make a little note in it or something and biscuits perno oh i like perno or i used to i can't drink anymore but i used to like perno on enough um and then these are lovely these are vellum so you've got these lovely vellum um, circles that you can separate or use. You know, just your imagination, isn't it? It's a lovely clock on the bottom. I'm going playing with these in a minute. I can see it coming now. And then there's loads of these. Look, Cacao Van Houten. <laughs> I'm sure that's a play on something, but I'm, I'm missing it because I always do. I'm always last to get a joke. Uh, lovely game of the elite. <laughs> uh, as well as that, I tell you, um, sometimes when you get things... Because they come from China, the wording might be slightly long sometimes. And I find that absolutely hysterical. Um, look at that. <laughs> and then this is lovely. You could um, use that that way. Slide something really tiny behind that if you just stuck the edges down, couldn't you? Or you could put it that way and put something over the top of it. Um, there's loads of stuff. I really like this. This is really cute. Look at that little girl. Isn't she a sweetheart? That is adorable. And there's like a little picture frame. There's um, another little label. I can see you can push the middle out on that. Uh, Fry yay. Happy. My heart is wherever you are. Absolutely gorgeous little cherub on a moon. And then little bits, these little bits of paper. Good luck to you today. Good luck to you tomorrow. 
a life all bright and gay, no worry and no sorrow, and loads of black cats. And then lots of lovely little bits of paper, or oh, a sticker, like an old calendar. Sorry my uh, camera work is off today, it's really awkward. Uh, Floral Treasures, 1895. Wow. And that is adorable. So obviously you could use that to uh, journal a little something on a page. And then little bees. And I've got here. Oh, stickers. And, oh, there's more. So I can use the string and the card as well. And then I've got a packet of stickers, which are, look like they are at your door as well, and all vintage. I don't know if this might be the best thing out of the lot, actually, because I love anything vintage. Uh, wishing you a Thanksgiving of plenty. Um, I can't read that from here. Look, vintage labels, little children, all sorts of things. Absolutely lovely. Look, kettle, um, coffee pot rather. Absolutely lovely. I love this. Um, <laughs> hugs and kisses, all sorts of things. That's really sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dive at you again. That's really sweet, that is. And then you've got all these papers that you can use. You can cut down. You can um, use for backing papers. Oh, and there's little ones there that's going to come along. Look. Look, some vellum. That is lovely. I like that one. That one. Some musical notes. Oh, no, it's not. It's a, um, They're underneath. That's musical notes. And then some like handmade paper. And I don't know what that is. Like a tissue. And some more vintage papers. So they are absolutely lovely. What a spread. Isn't it? I'm going to be like, I'm really enjoying that today, playing with these things. So I, um, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my goodies and seeing the journals. Um, sorry I've been so long-winded and um, the camera work isn't amazing. Um, but I shall do my best when I edit it to uh, try and make it look okay. <laughs> it's a bit awkward trying to stand by the bed and, and get things in front of the camera and bend over to open things. and It would have been so much easier to be sat at my desk, but it didn't work out today. So uh, take care, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching. Look after yourselves and each other. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you.